In this video, we'll do an exam review on control of the accommodation reflex by frontal eye field area. A pupillary light reflex is absent in Argyle Robertson pupil, but accommodation reflex is present. Why is it so? Because accommodation reflex is not controlled by hair, it's controlled by centrally. So, this optic nerve here goes straight from the lateral geniculate body through the geniculocalcrine tract to the area 17 of the uh, occipital cortex, the visual cortex and the association area 18, 19. So from here, visual cortex is connected to the frontal eye field area 8, which is in the frontal lobe in the superior frontal gyrus. Here it is. Fr frontal eye field controls the eye movement and the head movements also. And this is connected through this. This is known as superior longitudinal fasciculus. So superior longitudinal fasciculus connects the visual cortex to the frontal eye field area 8 in the frontal lobe. So this is the area 8 frontal eye field in front of the and this is in the frontal lobe in front of the motor association. This is motor area. This is central circus. Behind us is 312 area sensory cortex. So it's in front of the area 6, the motor association area. So how is it connected and how it controls eye movements? So this is here the frontal eye field, area 8. It's connected to many parts of the brain, to the cerebellum, to the sensory cortex, to the basal ganglia, to the substantia nigra, caudate nucleus, to the superior colliculus, and finally to the pons, and in the pons to the PPRF, paramedian pontine reticular formation. So this is the connection between them. Visual cortex to the visual association area, all this connected through the superior longitudinal fasciculus to the frontal eye field area eight of the opposite side here. And this frontal eye field area is connected on the opposite side to the PPRF, prepontine reticular formation, PPRF in the pons. And then this PPRF is connected to the ipsilateral CN6 nucleus, the abducens nucleus. Then this abducens nucleus is contralaterally connected to the oculomotor nucleus that supplies the medial rectus through the medial longitudinal fasciculus to the opposite side. So this frontal eye field here on the right side is controlling indirectly the right side of the oculomotor nucleus that supplies the medial rectus. So this is the frontal eye field is connected to the, uh, this is PPRF and then PPRF to the ipsilateral abducent nucleus that supplies the lateral rectus ipsilaterally. And then this is also connected through MLF, medial longitudinal fasciculus, to the third nerve nucleus to the medial rectus muscle. Here also, this is, see this is frontal eye field area 8. And if you follow the orange line, it is, it's connected to the PPRF here, PPRF to the abyssal nucleus, to the lateral ducta, ipsilaterally, and contralaterally to the oculometer nucleus, to the medial rectus muscle. Then lesions of the frontal eye field may be irritative lesions like a epileptic focus or a destructive lesion. So what do they cause? An irritative lesions of the frontal eye field causes conjugate movements of the eye to the opposite side. Conjugate case contralateral to the stimulation, to the looking away from the lesion. And a destruction causes conjugate case towards the lesion deviation to the ipsilateral side, looking at the lesion.